Hello friends, this is Durga from ITVarsity slash Technology Mentor and uh, as part of setting up uh, Hadoop cluster using the Hortonworks distribution, so far we have set up many components and currently we are talking about scope. And as part of scope, we have already seen introduction and architecture and uh, in this video we will talk about the uh, dependencies on certain jar files, especially if you want to uh, export or import data from MySQL. And uh, earlier when we actually set up uh, Hive, we have installed, uh, um, we have installed uh, both MySQL and also MySQL uh, Java connector. And uh, let me talk to you about that in detail now. So when we actually uh, set up uh, uh, or install MySQL connector, um, at the time uh, it has downloaded uh, uh, this jar file mysql connector java 5.1.17.jar and hit enter you can see this file and for this file if you uh, when you actually set it up it will also create a soft link with the name share java mysql connector java.jar and that soft link will be pointing to this one so to work with the scoop uh, when you try to run your scoop commands with this one, uh, it is running into issues. For that reason, you, you have to download uh, uh, version later than this. And one of the version I have tried is actually 5.1.31-bin.jar. I have downloaded from Google. You can search it for it and you can also download it. But I have also put it in the shared drive. And... Uh, uh, once you get this, you have to copy that to this location, user share Java. And uh, uh, once it is copied, um, I have already copied. So if I run ls minus ltr user share Java mysql uh, dot minus 5.1.31 bin dot jar, the file is already there. So we have to unlink this file. Uh, to this one which is pointing to 5.1.17 and uh, uh, change it to this one so we have to link this name with this file and then we have to also copy it to the scoop libraries so for that or we can create a soft link in scoop li libraries as well so for that you have to run unlink command user share java mysql connector dot uh, connector java dot jar now the, the, the you won't see the soft link uh, with this name now we have to do ls ln minus s user share java mysql connector 5131 bin dot jar we have to link it to the name share java mysql connector java dot jar file now if you do ls minus ltr on uh, mysql connector java.jar it is pointing to 5131 bin.jar and then what you have to do is that you you have to link this file you have to create another soft link under directory called so let let us try that ln minus s user share java mysql connector java.jar and then you have to copy it to user hdp 2.3.002557 and uh, then scoop and then lib and then you can give the name mysql connector minus java dot jar now you have the soft link to that location uh, at that location also make sure that uh, the location is valid means the link is valid if it is not valid, you will see a blinking, uh, uh, sorry, you will see the file blinking in red. So now it is actually working. Uh, that means our, we, we now have the MySQL connector in the scoop libraries. If this one is uh, highlighted uh, with the red background and if it is blinking, that, that uh, link is not working. So in that scenario, you have to unlink and create the link properly. So this can cause significant issues because this jar file have to be there when the scoop jobs run because on each and every node, 
it has to connect to the uh, database using JDBC and uh, if uh, proper connectors are not working, uh, proper connectors are not used, then Scoop will not be establishing a connection to the uh, uh, database and it, uh, the job will start failing. This is a very very important step, that's why I am creating a separate video for this. Make sure you understand these dependencies and it will help you in troubleshooting the issues. And only after this try to run the scoop export or import commands and uh, then they will be working for MySQL. So in future probably this version might not be working if you upgrade scoop to the later versions. In that scenario also you have to re-evaluate and uh, have the proper libraries configured so that your uh, uh, applications will work without any issues. That being said, in the next video we will do the uh, setup of scoop and also we will try to run the scoop export uh, command to see that our effort is working to export data from uh, MySQL database to scoop, sorry, to Hadoop using the scoop export command. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content uh, on my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. You will see a lot more content than just Hadoop or Big Data. And uh, please click on the like button if you like the video or ask me the question or provide the feedback in the comment section of my videos. Thank you. Bye.